to 104.1 KRBE. My name is Tyler Fry here in Houston, Texas. Nice. We, we, yes, that's right. We chatted about, uh, I don't know, what, six months ago when you were in a, yeah. a studio and you performed for us, which we appreciate. Of course. So thanks for that. So um, let's talk about the new single, Talk About Love, that you just dropped in the music video. Tell us all about it. Well, um, where should I start? The song Talk About Love is, the title could be misleading because it's about not wanting to talk about love. Cause it's a, I think we've all been in that sweet spot of just meeting a person and you don't really know where it's kind of going and you're not sure where you want it to go. So instead of having the talk, like normal mature people, you're like, Mm, let's just not talk about it and let's just have fun yeah um I am in my life so not that person like I go on one date and I'm like are we getting married <laughs> are we having kids like yeah. what's the plan and <laughs> you know I want to that guy's gone all the time um I'm very bad at casual dating but the song is about, I've, I, you know what? I have been in a situation where I don't want to talk about love. And I think whenever you say like, I don't want a relationship that with you is kind of silent. So I always say that. And I believe that is true for me, but it's a great song. It's very catchy, has a pop chorus, a little bit more of an R&B feeling that, than my um, previous stuff maybe. I think I've leaned, if anything, with my collabs or my big ones a bit more towards the dance EDM side, right. um, but also with like Wizkid, which is like King of Afrobeats and uh, Ty Dolla Sign, uh, which is definitely not EDM, but in general, uh, I, I just love the fact that I'm able to collaborate with all these amazing artists and just be influenced by their sound because I love Young Thug on this song. I think he fits really, really well. And I felt like I got the essence of him on the track and he didn't um, he didn't compromise himself for right. the song. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like he really brought it in the, the way I wanted him to. So yeah. This Very is, nice. This well, I, I want to get to the music video in just a minute, but you were you were talking. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued. Uh, a celebrity of your status, like dating wise, mm. do people know going into a date with you? They're like, "This is Zara Larson," or do people are just like, "Oh no, this is just a average girl." Uh, it depends on where I date. In Sweden, it might be a little hard, or like in Europe in general. But I've I've been on dates where like people have asked me out without knowing what I do, <laughs> which incredible. I yeah I think it's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely not a household name. Like I know that for sure. Hopefully one day, you know. Oh, you are. Ooh, come on. Mm, I don't know, but know um, it's very fun that some people like don't recognize me and still they think like. I find you funny and attractive and I would just like to take you on a date, not because of my job, but just because of who I am as a person. So I do take that as a, as a little compliment, I guess. Why yeah. not? Yeah. I just try to stay out of the friend zone, to be honest. That's like I'm <laughs> friend zone. They're yeah. like, Oh no. <laughs> uh, so talk about love is the new single poster girl. Uh, the new album you announced that is going to be dropping March 5th, I believe. Fifth? Yeah, that's correct. So let's talk about the album. Uh, what went yeah. into this? Uh, did you write this during uh, like quarantine or have you been working on this for a while? Mm, I was very uninspired during quarantine, if I'm being honest. Uh, I found that time to be very difficult for me, not just in my life, but like career wise. Uh, I just didn't have a purpose in a way. You know, I feel like just kind of floating around in the universe, like didn't have any stage to go on. I was kind of finished with the album. So I didn't really have that. Uh, yeah, it was tricky to find like motivation, but I, uh, yeah, I finished it before quarantine. And that was kind of nice. Just knowing that we have it, I'm happy with it. We can just kind of wrap it all up, um, right. do some photo shoots and the video, 
but the album is super fun and it actually is kind of a high energy album I would say and we do have it's not just only like yay 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 songs but even the songs that are about stuff that isn't glitter and rainbows like ruin my life which isn't necessarily like a happy song it doesn't feel sad to me it's still a great like pop song that you want to sing along to um maybe crying in the club that's like my favorite genre and I feel like Swedish people are in general quite good at that of um having great and fun melodies and then you listen to the lyrics and it's like oh that's sad <laughs> but most yeah, yeah. of it yeah. are happy positive energetic things uh that kind of pulls you away from reality just for a little moment you can escape while you're listening to the song and sing along very yeah. nice well we, we look forward to hearing that album um talk about love the new single the music video uh, it's very it's like emotional it's uh, a dance a video of uh, uh, contemporary yeah. what kind of dance would you yeah. call that Contemporary totally. Dance. Yeah, it's definitely more contemporary. And I wanted to try that because I feel like this is also a little era of mine where I get to showcase people that I love to dance uh, as well as sing. So obviously everyone who hears my song on the radio or, you know, on a playlist, they might not have been to my live shows where I dance a lot. But it's something that I love to do and have been doing for a big part of my life. And dancing and singing, they go hand in hand like best friends. So um, this time I really want to put it out there. And I felt like the song is quite emotional. It's a little push and pull, like you don't know what you want. Um, it's, it's quite passionate. And uh, someone's cooking and doing double pots and pans over there. Here we go. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's actually my boyfriend who's like the guy in the video. And that was so nice because he is a professional dancer. So we didn't have to fake the love part, at least, you know? Yeah. We already got that down. Well, that's nice. A nice day. Yeah. It was fun. First video that I co directed. Uh, and uh, hopefully, I will just learn more and more. I'm I'm not afraid to ask if I don't know. So I want to pick up on everything, learn all the lenses and learn the lights and learn how to do everything so I can just direct it myself in the future. Very nice. Well, yeah. um, congrats on all that. Directing Thanks. it then as well, co-directing that. Yeah. Uh, let's talk uh, about, you're in Sweden, correct? That's correct. So so what's it like over there? Uh, obviously, um, far across the pond what, what what's the COVID-19 situation over there are you guys still in quarantine are you living normal lives yet what, what do you got going on over there it's strange because we never had a lockdown we never had um any form of that so we know we don't have masks we don't have anything um but you do you know people are looking out for each other so even though restaurants might be open it's, I think it's a little tricky for the restaurants because they're not allowed to close down, um, but everyone's encouraged not to go out. So it's like, it's open, but no one goes out. And if you do go out, people are gonna ask, what are you doing? Why right. are you going out in this right. pandemic? You know, so um, it's not lively. I think people forgot about it because it was declining during the summer months. And then it was like, ha ha, second wave, I'm right. coming. Right. Um, and it hit Sweden too, because we thought we would have like herd immunity at that point. So second wave wouldn't hit us, which turned out to be wrong. So we're all in the same boat. Um, but luckily the silver lining for me was that even though I can't travel and perform and you know do all that that I love, I got to spend some really good time with my sister and my mom, my dad and my friends who I don't see that often. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been strange. It turned me into a professional series watcher. And maybe that's why I got into like wanting to direct because I've right. seen so yeah. many movies yeah, and yeah. so many series. <laughs> Very nice. What time is it over there, by the way? It yeah. is, I think it's seven hours ahead of you. It's about 6.45. Oh, you guys are living in the future. Mm -hmm. 
Zara Larson, I appreciate you taking time uh, again. Uh, it was good to catch up with you. Uh, the new single, Talk About Love, the new video, uh, Post a Girl, will we'll be waiting and listening March 5th. So uh, excited about yeah. that. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Zara. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you soon. Bye.